Good morning. It is early on Friday morning and I am up and we're going to feed these baby birds. I have a whole lot to do today. I gotta get these done. I gotta go outside, feed the birds outside. Then the men from church are meeting for lunch. Then I've got to go to work. We're having an end of school party for the kids there and that's gonna be absolutely enjoyable. <laughs> so let's feed these baby birds. Okay, to get started, like always, have Hagen Tropicana. You need to read every one of these instructions on the back and follow them to the T. Um, like I say in all my videos, I've been doing this for 30 years and it's just second nature for me. Uh, it's just a dry powder and we mix it up. Uh, I say the consistency of applesauce. If your homemade applesauce is different than my homemade applesauce, then it may be a different consistency. There are instructions by uh, volume on the back of that bag of how much water you have to add for how much formula. The, the formula, the dry powder formula is going to absorb the water uh, and it will become thicker. I'm just whizzing it around with the syringe. Other times when I have bigger babies and I'm mixing up more formula, I would use a little small, uh, like a coffee blender or a fork even to mix it up. But for small amounts like this, this works fine. Let me show you. I'm using this flexible tip. Uh, I get these on eBay, so it's called a teat cannula, T-E-E-T. -E -E it is used in veterinary medicine to administer antibiotics to cows that have uh, mastitis, an infection of the udder. This would actually go into one of the openings of each of the four teats on the cow to administer antibiotics directly into the udder. It's uh, it's stiff, but it is flexible. Uh, it's made out of plastic. There, it just twists onto this it's called a lure lock syringe, and it just twists onto the end of that, like so. And I use this so that I can get the formula into the little tiny baby bird's mouth. So, just load it up with formula. I always kind of stick it back into the cup of hot water. You want the temperature of the formula to be right at 100 degrees. If it goes too much above that, then you're going to have problems. Let's see. We're going to change out some of these tubs as we're doing this. This one, you know, I changed it out. I didn't change it yesterday. It was two days, and it's kind of yucky in there. I'm going to put him into this clean tub. This is a... A blue open line Quaker parakeet. Can you see that pretty blue color on his tail? Come on, little guy. Are you hungry? Huh? Huh? Are you hungry? Huh? Are you hungry? You're hungry, aren't you? Hey, baby. Hey, baby. Here, here. Have some formula. You want some formula? Are you hungry? Good morning. Good morning. Hey, baby. Hey. Is that enough for you? I think that's enough for you. You can see his little crop, that little bag right there, that's part of his digestive system. Birds have a completely different digestive system than you or I do. I'm not going to really get into the anatomy of that this morning because I'm not sure my brain's fully awake. They have a gizzard. Let's see, what else do we have? We have a a baby love bird, and again, I'm going to clean out the little tub that she is on. Hey, baby. Hey, there's that little love bird. You see that? That's the one that we just pulled out of the nest box. We pulled him out of the nest box yesterday. Here, let's put that there. And there's plenty of formula left here for you. Here, do you want to open your mouth? He doesn't know how to eat from a from a syringe yet. Come on, open your mouth. Open your mouth. There we go. 
this. That's all you need right now. Let me reach over here and just show you. Raise this table up. This is an old hospital bedside table. One of the best things I ever found at the thrift store. Here's a bigger syringe. It's got a catheter tip on the end for obvious reasons. You can just see there's no way that I'd be able to feed that baby bird with that. And of course you can get these smaller. But I just wanted to show how useful these tips are. Hey baby. See that little love bird? Now the little Quaker has already been spoken for. This love bird is available. Like with any of the birds that I have available. If you are in the uh, Birmingham, Aniston, Gadsden, Talladega area of Alabama, I'm right smack dab in the middle of those places. If you're local to me, you can come and I will meet you somewhere. If not, if you want a little bird, I can ship it through Delta Airlines. Just be warned, that's an additional $200. Here. Bye bye little love bird. Let's see what else do I have down here. I've got a mess of tubs already. Let's see. I've got cockatiels. Let's pull the cockatiels over. Slide that just a bit. Hey baby. Good morning. Good morning to you. Good morning. These three cockatiels are all siblings. They're clutch mates. We're going to start with this one. This is the youngest. Look at that beautiful pearl. Uh, this one is already spoken for. Okay. So this one, this one has, gonna, has already found a home. Here, you get down right there just like that. Here, do you want some formula? Yeah, you're hungry this morning. There. Let's see one of your brothers. Here is an older one. This is a white face cockatiel. Flat face because it doesn't have any of the yellow or orange pigments on his face. It's going to be white, so it's a flat face cockatiel. And I know he appears to be gray, and he absolutely is gray, but this is a blue mutation, believe it or not. A blue mutation parrot just means that they have no yellow or orange pigments. Isn't it beautiful? And again, this one's already spoken for also. Already received a deposit on that baby. So they knew what they wanted and they jumped at the opportunity to to get it. And this one is a normal, what we call a normal gray. This is the way the cockatiels in Australia fly around wild in the in the, the sublands. But you can see he's got the little orange coloration and yellow coming in on his face. Here, come back. You come this way. Here. Are you hungry this morning, Chase? Huh? You want some yum yum? Yeah, that's good stuff. Yum 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 yum. You hear him say yum 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 yum? Hey, I know. You don't like being on the switch table. There we go. How about that? See the beautiful cockatiels? Here. Beautiful, beautiful cockatiels. I still have ringnecks and parakeets to feed. So. Let me switch out and we'll get those. Okay, now these tubs are going to be cleaned out just as soon as I get through with this video. So if you can, if you peek into here, don't, don't, don't be mean about it. Come on, little guy. Here is another little love bird. This one uh, is not from the same clutch as the first one that I just showed you. But this is another little love bird. This one has already been, been reserved here. Are you hungry this morning? Are you hungry this morning? You are. Good morning. Oh, you're going to make a mess, aren't you? He's already eating some on his own. He'll be ready to go home uh, probably next weekend. You don't want any, do you? No. You're going to have to get your wings trimmed. You're going to have to get your wings trimmed. Here. You come back in here. Let's show a parakeet. Here. Here's a little parakeet that we've been hand feeding. One of the two. Here. Step up there. Step up. Oh, what a good baby bird. Here, step up. Step up one more time. Oh, what a good baby bird you are. You are so beautiful. So beautiful. This is a blue opaline. Blue, obviously, because he's not green. And opaline, because he's missing all the little patterns here on his shoulder and up on his, his neck. But isn't he beautiful? Beautiful little bird. Here. Do you want some formula? Do you want some formula? No, not a bit, do you? 
Oh no, come here. Come on, you, you're on the bed. Here. Bear. The two parakeets, they're going home uh, Sunday. Yeah, Sunday I'm going to meet up with, with Brandon. They're going to go and move with Brandon up. Oh well. I'll get him in just a minute. He's walking around on the floor. So let's feed the ring necks. Here. Oh, you're both going to crawl right out, aren't you? This is the beautiful Cremino. Uh, I just received a deposit on her yesterday, so she's found a home. She, he, whatever it is. Here, there's your, there's your breakfast. Just like that. Yum! Isn't that good stuff? Huh? Is he good? You like that? And here, come on, come on, come on, come on. No, no, don't, don't, don't fall. Here. Okay, you go on back in the tub. Just like that. This is the beautiful Violet. And he is going to go and live with Mr. Joe. Are you, you want any? They're already eating on their own, so they're probably going to go home next weekend, too. Come on. Huh? Are you all, are you all done? Huh? Look at the baby. See the baby? Beautiful, beautiful little baby. All right. Thank you so much for watching. If you haven't already, please be sure to subscribe. Give us a thumbs up. God bless you. I love you. Bye-bye.